everyone, it's Sylvie here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is a progress video for my Beauty and the Beast diamond painting, which is a 30 by 40 centimeter painting, which is also from Hula Can. Now, I've already done two of these sections of this painting and I didn't do a video for those because I just finished filming my framing video for my previous video over the weekend. Um, and I also did my live stream also for that painting. Um, so I'm now doing my Beauty and the Beast, which is also a square diamond drill painting. Um, so yeah, so I'm currently working on the painting upside down at the moment because um, it was closer for me to to place the diamonds. Okay. So the colour I just finished was uh, this beautiful tealy blue colour, which is part of the beast's um, coat that he's wearing, or his jacket, whatever you want to call it. So let's get started. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day um, and enjoying their morning so far. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Father's Day. Okay, so I'll start off with the three tens, which is the circle shape. Oops, the lid popped off. Okay. Okay. They don't always want to stay all in the tray. I'm definitely thinking about getting a bigger tray because these smaller ones, the diamonds like to fall out of still. So I'm going to have to try and get a bigger tray, I think, so that they don't fall out. So I'm still waiting for my order from Huacan to arrive for my custom. And I've already pre-prepped the canvas as well. Okay. So I'm really enjoying the detail of this painting so far. It's looking really good. Not really pixelated yet. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the progress. Um, I only started my diamond painting only, I think it was, I think yesterday or the day before, over the weekend, I started this painting after I finished the filming video for my, um, for my framing video. Um, so one thing I'll probably do is a setup video for when I do my next painting after I finish this one, which will be my next 40 by 50 uh, full drill painting, which is my purple landscape, and that one's a round diamond painting instead of square. So I might do a setup video if anyone is interested in seeing that. Um, if you guys haven't already uh, liked my channel or subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my videos. And also hit the notification bell to be notified of, of said videos. And also subscribe if you liked this video or liked my videos. Um, so then you can go into the running to win a diamond painting giveaway. Which I'll be doing once my channel reaches 150 subscribers. I'll be doing a diamond painting giveaway absolutely free to one lucky winner or person who has subscribed to my channel once my channel reaches 150 subscribers
and I'll talk about the giveaway uh, when it gets more closer to reaching my goal of 150 subscribers. And I'll be able to talk about it in um, in more detail when that time comes. So I've already got all my diamonds now numerical order in their new container in the storage. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, hmm. I don't know what else I can talk about today. Hmm. Hmm. I'll try to do a tag, I think, in my next video. I think I just haven't got around to it yet at this point. Sorry about that, my phone keeps giving me notifications from Facebook. <laughs> it happens every time I do a video. It happens in nearly every one of my videos. I always get a notification from something. It's so silly and annoying. But that is life. And I'm just going to deal with it. So I hope everyone's had a wonderful weekend. So far. accidentally bumped the um the phone um, so i will be getting eventually a camera um that i can film videos on i do have a camera already um that i can use for videos but um i still need something that's better quality i think um i do have a digital camera but um i haven't really tried filming videos on it yet um, so I'm going to try and get a better camera in the future instead. And some of the diamonds fell onto the canvas. So what happened over my weekend was I spent a lot of time with my partner and we also spent time with our two-year-old nephew and we went out shopping and I managed to get my supplies and everything like that and that's why I was able to film my um, 
framing video because um, I finally got the deco tape because um, for some reason in my local store where near where I live they don't have um, the deco tape that I wanted they just had the basic washi tape and washi tape for me was a little bit too thin to what I actually wanted so I had to go shopping instead um, at another store which is about a 10-15 minute um, drive from where I live to find the deco tape and I eventually found the deco tape stuff that I wanted and I got the three colours that I liked and um, it was really really cheap too they were only three dollars so it was a bargain um, but they did have a few varieties there but they didn't have any in the black um, that I liked so um, they just had like pinks, yellows, uh, blues, greens, purples and stuff like that but they didn't really have any of the black marble effect kind of tape so I just stuck with whatever I chose and I just used that instead um, which is what you see in my framing video so yeah um, I've already got my next frame for this painting um, it was really really cheap I only paid, we only paid ten dollars for it um, so we got that from the same place that I got my deco tape from and it was the last one on the shelf that they had um, and it was in perfect condition um, wasn't damaged or anything so we got that and it's a really beautiful frame it's a black frame with a bit of metal in it um, which looks really lovely so it's going to look really really nice on my wall um, so yeah I'm really happy with that one and the best thing about it is it also came with the um, the mat board in it as well um, to go around the painting so I thought that was really nice but the mat board is only for a I think it's a 20 by 28 frame like it gives us a white border matte frame on it so you can push it out if you want it to be framed around a 20 by 28 or you can take the whole thing out and put in the a bigger size which is what this um canvas is so yeah so it's got two choice like two different options for that frame um which is really nice okay so the next one i'll do is z here the z's which is 371 which is like a sappy olive green so that's the color I'm doing um, now I actually really like these little containers they're really really cute and I'm, I'm actually enjoying this storage I do have another one coming um, from AliExpress, which is from the um, Colour Whisper store. So I bought this one, this first one from, from the, from, not from, from Home Fun. Well, this is what someone told me it was pronounced, so I'm hoping it's right. Home Fun. Um, but there's no E in the word, it's just H-O-M-F-U-N. Um, that's how they've spelt it, but it's pronounced apparently home fun. Um, so it's a very weird name to pronounce. Um, so I got this one from them and then my second one I got from the Colour Whisper store on AliExpress because the, um, the home fun ones were sold out after I purchased that one. So, um, so I had to go through another seller on AliExpress <clears throat> which I've never really uh, gone through before so um, so yeah um, I haven't really bought any diamond paintings from them yet um, but I don't know yet um, 
if I will because there's a few other sellers that I'm still waiting for my canvases to arrive from. Um, I'm still waiting for my canvases from Jill Shiny to arrive. I'm still waiting for my Hua Can Custom. I'm also waiting on my diamond storage that I've got from Colour Whisper Store. And I'm also looking at getting um, other paintings as well. Um, I think it's from, I think, Evershine, I think, which was a store that was recommended by another YouTuber. Because um, she'd done an unboxing video from them. And I really loved the, the canvas that she got. Um, and there was a few paintings I saw from that store that I really liked. Um, but I haven't really ordered any more yet. Because I'm still waiting to um, get my other paintings first before I order any more paintings to do So for this size that I've chosen for my Beauty and the Beast, which is the 40 by 30 size, um, I'm finding the details so far to be really good. I just hope that um, it's a good enough size to see the detail in both Belle and Be like the Beast's um, faces, um, especially with their eyes and stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping it will look, it will still look pretty good um, for the size that I chose. But so far, the detail on the beast's clothing is looking really, really nice so far. And it's coming together quite nicely. Um, I'm not really sure how many progress videos I'll be doing of this painting yet. Because this particular size, for me, um, goes really quickly. And usually only take a few days for me to do and complete. Um, so I probably might only do probably about two videos, maybe. I'm not sure, um, as yet. So this is the second square diamond painting that I've done. Or worked on in my entire collection as most of my paintings have been round when I first started they were all mostly round um, and I had never done a square painting before I did the Eiffel Tower one so the Eiffel Tower one was my first square and doing one of the square of that size for my first square painting I was a little bit um, overwhelmed by it but when it finally got to the end, I was very excited to see it completed. So, um, it turned out really, really, really nice. Um, the diamonds did stay on there, but during filming, for some reason, I was missing two or three diamonds from the canvas. And I had to go through all my spares and find the same diamonds Ugh. that had fallen off. So, it was all good in the end, which was good. I originally wanted to do the post-review in the same video as the filming video, but because with some for the framing, is because um, for some reason my video stopped recording, so it ended up being two separate videos instead on my channel. Um, but next time when I do the, a framing video, I'll make sure that the um, the button does not stop recording. 
um, for the camera. So I'll take that in consideration for next time. So, yeah. So I'll take that as a learning curve and um, just be considerate of what, ha we'll ha what not to do next time. So next color I'm doing is these arrows, which is 945, which is like a creamy, kind of like a creamy, pinky, yellow, like yellowy color. Yeah, it's more like a peachy color. So what I do with my diamond storage containers is I just write down the numbers on sticky labels and I trim them down to size with a pair of scissors and then I stick them on the lids of my containers um, and then I put them all in numerical order inside the diamond storage itself, um, which is what I've done for these. It's just regular sticky uh, paper labels and I've wrote them on there with a pen um, all the different DMC code numbers and then I stuck them onto the containers on top of the lid so I could do a video um, on how I do that when I get my next storage um, for my next lot of diamond paintings um, which will be then for the round I believe and I can show you guys how I label and sort through my containers for my storage um, to do my paintings Okay, that colour is done. Anyway, guys, I'll just quickly pause and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Okay, so the next colour I'll be doing is this diamond-y looking shape, which is like two triangles together, pointing in opposite directions, um, with the lines in the middle. So, so that is three seven seven one. It is, which is a another orangey looking peachy colour yeah there's a lot of interesting colours in this painting so far I'm really loving the blues on Beast's um, clothing that he's wearing I'm really loving that blue it's so beautiful um, so I'm going to be very interested to see how it's going to look once it's done
So I'm thinking what I'll do um, for future videos is I think I'll just look up some random questions and just write them all down and I can just answer them during my videos I guess when I do my progress videos. Um, So I hope everyone is enjoying their diamond paintings so far and have got a fair bit of progress done. Um, I was watching a few YouTubers last night. I was watching a few videos of lots of unboxings. Um, and I actually really enjoy watching unboxing videos. Um, and especially when they do the inventory as well. It's really, really good to see, to make sure if they had all their diamonds. Um, so you can kind of make an estimated um, judgment on if you order from the same seller that you'll have a higher chance of having all your diamonds. I don't know. Because there are always some going to be some times where you might not have all your diamonds if you order from the exact same seller. So I don't know. It's it's just one of those things that I like to watch. When I watch other YouTubers doing their diamond painting unboxings. Because it's just something I really enjoy. Is watching those videos. And um, I was also watching uh, Danielle from Stitcherista as well. When she was doing her setup video. I thought that was amazing. That was great. Um... I'm definitely loving watching those videos as well, how the people set up their their diamond paintings for their next paintings. Like, you don't really see that often on YouTube. On how you set up your diamond paintings, and I thought that was really different. Um, and I really like, I really enjoyed um, her video that she she put on her channel of her setup that she was doing which was really really cool um yeah Um, yeah, so then I was watching, um, unboxing videos as well and watching a lot of different videos and I just love seeing how everyone sets up their paintings. It's just, it's, it's interesting to see how, um, people over the other side of the world can set up their paintings and it's, it's really different. But there's a number of YouTubers that I'm subscribed to who I watch regularly. Um, so there is Kicking Cancer's Butt and Diamond Paintings. That's Ella. Then there's Danielle, which is Stitcherista. And then I watch Frutini as well. And then I also watch Diamond Painting with Donnie. And those are the main... To, like YouTubers that I'm currently following and I also follow Diamond Mama as well because um, she does really nice reviews um, and time lapses of her paintings so there's a few YouTubers out there that I watch um, currently on YouTube and um, if any of you guys are watching this video um, keep doing your videos because they're awesome and I keep loving watching your videos so keep on watch, like doing those videos because it gives me something to do while I do my diamond painting. So, yeah. Um, and that's coming from a, a fellow YouTuber. So, so yeah. So, if you guys are interested in watching lots of diamond painting videos, I highly suggest you go watch the people that I've mentioned on this video. Um, or in this video, I should say. Um, if you guys would like to see more different diamond paintings. Um, and offer your support um, to their channels. Um, but also give your support to my channel too, because, um, 
because I really want to do this giveaway. Once I've reached 150 subscribers, I've got a dime painting that I want to give away and I've already given away um, two dime paintings to my grandmother-in-law, which I gave to her as a gift. And um, I hope she really enjoyed those. Um, and I really just want to give back to the community um, the same joy of this hobby. So, yeah. So definitely subscribe to me if you want to go into the running to get a free diamond painting. At my expense. Um, so, yeah. Except if it's for shipping though. Uh, shipping will be a little bit expensive for me because I am in Australia. So I might have to ask for a tiny, tiny shipping fee. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, hmm, what colour next? Hmm, let's go with E. So E, which is 208. Which is this beautiful purple colour. And apparently it says here, I only, I only need 73 diamonds. For this painting, so hopefully I have enough. I think I have enough. I should be okay, I guess. Okay, I have got enough of the E's. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that colour is done. Now I'll do the end symbol. So that is 517. And that is a nice darker blue colour. It's like an aqua kind of blue. Or a cyan blue. If Yeah, so it's like a cyan looking blue.
Um, if anyone's actually wondering where I buy all of my diamond paintings from, I actually get most of them from AliExpress. Um, but I will be also buying...